Bright Makeup Geeks, I have a fun tutorial for you guys today, and this is something really easy and fast to do. I'm not going to do a full face of makeup. I just want to show you the eyes and lip combination. This is what the look is here. Now, I know this is a bit dramatic, so I wanted to give you at the end of the video ways how you could do just one or the other, both, or how to mix it up, just to give you some fun and different ideas to do with your makeup instead of doing the same look all the time. So now about you guys, I wear the same makeup technique, same colors, day in and day out, I get in a rut and I'm like, you know what? I need to step out of my little bubble, try something different. So that's why we're doing this glossy eyes and duochrome lips. Do you like it? All right, let's get started on it. All right, you guys, to start off our glossy lids and duochrome lips, I already have my face makeup done because this isn't a full like head to toe, head to toe, start to finish. That's what I meant to say. Well, let me get a sip of coffee first. <laughs> So obviously my brain's not functioning well today. I'm not doing the full face of makeup. If you want to check that out, I have lots of tutorials that talk about my face routine, all that stuff. All this video is, is a quick video to give you inspiration of different makeup tips to, to do. Why am I doing the shoulder thing? I feel like I'm doing this today. I'm really excited about this video. Okay. What we are going to do is start with the eyes. I'm gonna show you just a new and different way to do your makeup and it's super easy. It doesn't take a lot of time, but it's really fun and different. Obviously it's not a wearable look because you don't wanna have glossy lids when you go to your work meeting, but this is fun for the weekend. So what you need to do is take any sort of crease brush like this. This is the It Cosmetics Chic Eyeshadow Brush. I'm gonna use the In The Nude palette. As you can tell, mine's very well used because I use it all the time but you guys don't have to use a Makeup Geek shadow. You can use anything that's in a mid-tone range. So for me, it's in this area right here. I love my warm browns, just whatever crease color that you prefer. So I'm gonna go in with this one. This is Tan Lines. And all I'm going to do is start with the crease, just like this. The only reason I'm doing this step at all is to provide some dimension for my lids. So when I put the gloss on top, it's gonna pop a bit more because you have that a little bit more defined crease. So just buff that out. Then wipe off that brush, go in with the middle color, which is buffed. And it's a beautiful, soft, pinky brown color. This is an amazing transition color if you have fair to medium skin. If you have deeper skin, this would be a good highlight color underneath your brows. So basically, if you guys have um, fair to medium skin, you can use this row. If you have deeper skin, use the, one of these two bottom colors as your crease color. So all I'm doing is going slightly above the crease and buffing this out. And then you can transition to the top shade, which is so pale, so pale. <laughs> and we're going to soften the inner part of the eye and under the brow bone. And this is my go-to stage pretty much every day for any makeup look. I start with these three steps. I define my crease, then I do a transition, and then the brow bone. And then from there, you can do any sort of lid color that you want. Okay, now you can switch to a smaller dome shape brush like this one and go in with a little bit darker shade. I'm gonna go in with um, Cabin Fever. If you like a more cool tone brown, go in with Dark Rose, but I like the warmer browns because I like it hot and warm. So I'm gonna put this on the outer corner. And this is such an easy technique, you guys. The focus is mostly gonna be on the lips, so the eyes we're gonna keep very neutral, very easy, with, except for the pop of the gloss. We're gonna put this on the inner and outer corner of the eye, just to create a halo look like that. Do the same thing here. Now you can take a, this is optional. Actually, you know what guys, I changed my mind. Let me show you how to do the lower lash line too. This is optional, but I like to have a little bit of shadow under the lash line, because if I don't wear it, it's kind of weird. It can almost make you look like you're tired when you're not having anything under there. It seems counterproductive, like, oh, I'm putting shadow under here. I think it'll make my eyes look heavy. It actually doesn't, it detracts from them. So we're gonna hide these eye bags by putting a little shadow under here. So I'm just taking a bit of cabin fever and smudging it out underneath. 
just like that, just to give a little shadow and it kind of detracts from any high-end bags going under here. That's how extreme my eye bags are. They are like Louis Vuitton bags. They are not joking around. Clean that up. Okay, now you can take a foiled brush like this one and you can put a really shimmery shadow on the lids if you want. If you want it to be a little bit more toned down, you can skip this and then we'll go straight into the gloss. But I'm gonna take Whimsical. It's a really, really pale, icy pink color. It works for fair skin. If you have medium to deep skin, don't use this. It's gonna look very ashy. You wanna go in with something like this from the palette, which is the In the Spotlight. It's a warmer peachy color. You just want something that's lighter than your skin. So that's why I'm going in with this one. Do you see how light that is in the center? And just put that right there. Then for the gloss effect, all you're going to do is get a super inexpensive gloss. Just get it from any drugstore, dollar store. The stickier, the better. So if it's too sticky for your lips, we're gonna put it on the eyes because it'll stay put longer. So I'm gonna take a clear gloss and dab this only in the center lid, just like that. Then you guys can add your mascara and lashes. If you want it to be more dramatic, add lashes. I'm gonna use the Ardell 600 ones. They're kind of like this. They're very wispy type ones that are longer in the center because I want it to follow that halo shape where it's like shorter to long, then shorter on the inner side. So it gives you a very rounded eye look. So I'm gonna apply those. You guys know how to put on lashes. If you don't, Google that shiznit because it's all over YouTube. We know how to do this step. Okay, so lashes are on. Do you like that pure magic where it's like, and I'm back, and we have lashes. <laughs> so once you get your lashes and or mascara on, then we can move on to the lips. I'm not gonna do cheeks and all that stuff. You guys do your contouring, baking, bronzing, cooking, whatever it is that you do to your cheeks. So do that. And then for the lips, this is where it gets a little bit fun. So you're gonna take a deep lip liner. I'm gonna use the NAR one, the Pre NAR, NARS Precision Lip Liner. I gotta drink coffee before I mess up my lips. Hold on. Now I can talk. We're going to use the NARS Precision Lip Liner in Ride It. I don't know what that means, NARS, but we're gonna ride with that. So we're gonna line our lips in a nice deep hung color. So I try to talk while I'm lining my lips. Because who does that? I do. Okay, doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna fill it in with some lip color. I'm gonna use the Makeup Geek Lipstick in Risqué. It's so risqué. We're gonna fill in that nice plum color. You want to, for this technique, make sure you use a lipstick, something that has a bit of a creamy texture. Don't use a drying lip with lipstick because the next part that I'm gonna show you, it needs something to adhere to. So use, don't do gloss because it's gonna be too shiny. Just use a cream lipstick, not a liquid on. Now that you have the lipstick down, you can take a flat stiff brush and some sort of duochrome type pigment. Um, Makeup Geek, we have several duochrome pigments, but I want you guys to think that I was just pimping out my stuff. So I grabbed an Inglot one because it works good too. This is the Inglot number 86. It's a beautiful duochrome glitter. I don't know, let me just show you. It's amazing, it's beautiful. So pick up some of that on your brush, squish it into the brush. We're gonna put this just on the center of the lips. and it'll change colors to a pink and a gold. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. Can you see it? Yes. <laughs> so if you guys want this to be more toned down, because I know this is a really dramatic look, you can do a couple things. You can skip the gloss, or you can do the gloss and do, don't do the dual chrome lips. Or if you're like me and you love some drama and some glam in your life, you can do both because I'm a honey badger and I wanna do both. <laughs> so anyways, hopefully this gives you some fun ideas of different ways you can wear this combination just to have fun out on the weekend and not take a lot of time or product. So 
Thanks for watching, guys. Have fun with your makeup, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.